room gets like Gonna be out on the road Where the mighty boat And a jewel box on your back You're very welcome to the Purple Sessions And with us tonight we have Darren Lynch Darren, welcome to Boyles Welcome to the Purple Sessions Thanks very much, Jerry Thanks for having me <laughs> Delighted to have you Delighted to have you, Darren Looking forward um, to the night ahead Good, good Give us a little bit of background on, on Darren Lynch and, and his music. Uh, myself, um, I mainly, I class myself as a folk musician. Trad, trad folk musician. Um, by folk, I mean uh, folk music, not just from Ireland, but a mixture from um, Scotland, a few Scottish songs and uh, um, English folk songs. They do have a few. You've gone where I those songs, ones that appeal to me and ones that, you know, have a bit of a message or a bit of a story behind it. And I uh, tried to put my own stamp in it and kind of make me own of it. My money, alas, I spent it fast. I got as strong as a drunk could be. When my money, it was all gone. It's then that I wanted more. But a man must be blind to make up his mind. Go to see once more. In terms of instrumentation, what kind of instruments do you prefer to work well, with? Well, I originally started off playing the, the tenor banjo, which is the four-string banjo, uh, which is a fairly versatile instrument, but uh, a banjo being a banjo, it's, it has that sort of sharp, blunt yes. sound as yes. well, you know, which is good for some things, but not good for all things. Yeah. So what I found was that, of course, the, the guitar is so versatile that I wanted a middleman in between them. Right. So my middleman was um, the Irish bazooki, or some people call it an octave mandolin. Uh, it's the smaller scale of it, which is basically uh, a mandolin-shaped instrument, as part of the mandolin family, but has a longer scale neck, similar to a guitar. If you know tree, we first sail out to sea, out from the sweet town of death. For Australia bound, if we didn't all drown, as the marks of our feathers we have Rusty iron chains, we sighed for our wings Good women we left in sorrow As the mainsail unfurled, our curses we hurled And the English young thoughts of the Singer songwriter, um, and yeah. that's where I'd like to change. The folk sits well with that. Folk sits, fits well around, yeah. and uh, I'd like to sort of try to. It, it's a good platform to get yeah. out there to people instead of the sort of uh, old school platform of banging away in a noisy temple bar pub behind people. Yes. And you end up, the, the music gets destroyed because you end up getting shouting and banging around. And so it's a much nicer atmosphere to play in and a much nicer audience to, to get the music out of. Good. Good. I'm would be there to see. start for you? Uh, well the music started um, a lot of time on my hands for, for one thing. Uh, I suppose when I was young I was thinking, God, you know, I was looking at the likes of Michael Jackson and that I started with the kids and I, was, I always believed that, you know, music had to be, you know, you had to start it when you were 8, 9, 10. Or, right. I don't know, it's just thing that, you know, I'm far too late. I was, could have been 13, 14, well, I'm far too old to get into yeah. that game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what actually happened was, um, I was a boxer for many years and when I stopped boxing, and my late teens coming into my twenties, um, more so, more so around the nineteen twenty mark. Um, I was in a friend's house and he put on a documentary of the Dubliners. Okay. And it was seeing them that um, 
They made no bones. I, I think they actively said that they never rehearsed in their life. <laughs> but he had this natural gift for music and right. natural gift for getting music across yeah, yeah. in such a people's way that everyone would understand that. And um, they spoke with my accent and they yes. were, you know, from my neck of the woods, from my county. <laughs> Connect with it. Connect with it. Yeah. And I'd say within about a week of that, I bought a banjo. <laughs> <laughs> I'd much rather do a charity event yeah. where, uh, you know, in a, in a nursing home all folks on where people can actually appreciate music yeah. and you can get it across and people listen then it's being a background. He's as bold as ever still Well, he used to mend my bridges when I lived in Spanzo Hill And you're coming out of Balifarma? Valley Fair, yeah. Good scene around Valley Fair for musicians. It, there is a good scene, um, musician wise, probably not pub wise. Yeah, okay. The pubs, yeah. I don't know, are still. Uh, there wouldn't be as many that be sort of music friendly venues. Just oh, a couple of them, there's not many. Yeah. But uh, music wise, there's some great musicians. Yes. Uh, specifically in the trad, trad era. Um, uh, of course, you have the trad school up there as well. Alright, okay. So that's uh, happening, yeah. Which is sort of a. a a second thing to the, the rock school up there in the senior college. Right. The rock school is where Damien Dempsey and people like that came from. So the trad school is um, a teaching them to perform and arts and that. Okay. So not only have you got uh, Balfour musicians come to it, uh, you have a lot of people come from the outside as well. So it's good to mix up and it's a bit of a melting pot. That's good, that's good. Well, it's going to bring it's stuff good. out too, isn't it? It's, yeah, it's, yeah. And it's an avenue for people to explore what they want to do with music. Exactly. Yeah. And especially with people coming in from yeah. different areas. People come from all around Ireland just to do the course there as well. Of course, and, and it's local, great so. teachers, just great teachers. One there. fine March morning, I did New Orleans the Jew. Took the road to Jackson Town, my fortunes to renew. I cursed all for a money, no credit good I gained. It filled my heart. Your music. What's your ambition with, with this music? Well, at the moment, I'm in the process of recording a, a solo album. I went solo in 2014. So um, this year, I just want to dedicate to recording an album and getting it, getting it down and getting a good job done on it. Yeah. And um, then next year, worry about um, getting it out there. <laughs> My pretty Creole girl, my money is no good. If it weren't for the alligators, I would sleep out in the wood. And you're welcome here, kind strangers, but our house is very plain. But we never turn a stranger out by the leaves of Roger Train. Darren, it's been a real pleasure talking to you. Great uh, looking forward to the set, looking forward to hearing these tunes. Thanks very much for coming down to the Public Sessions and hope you have a good night. Thank you, Jerry. Thank you. On her shoulders, jet black, ringlets fell. She try and paint her beauty, I'm sure it would be in vain. So handsome was my Creole girl.
心。